Hello, this is Jack Ferguson, owner, builder, and sometimes performer at Appalachian Flutes and Dalsmers in Salem, Virginia. I'd like to take some time today and get away from the shop. I love building. I've had over 300 instruments now since uh, 2010. This is now March 2019. Over half of them have been electric, so today what I thought I'd do is come home and do a little jamming. I like to play, don't get a chance that often, like to perform as well. Uh, don't do it for money, just do it for the fun of it and trying to promote dulcimers. Um, jamming is fun, the only problem is you kind of need other people and other instruments to do that. Well, that's what I like to show about my electric. Uh, I have it on my most popular model, which is dogwood. This one is spalted dogwood with walnut. My instruments are known not only for their look, but for the wood that I use, which is reclaimed and salvaged from southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Blue Ridge. Uh, the wood has great tone, the tuning is very accurate, and the instruments are well made. So I'm really proud of them and uh, get a chance to play them whenever I can. So that's what I'll do today. You say, well, how do you jam when you're by yourself? And that's basically it. It's me and my wonderful little Shih Tzu, Rudy. Uh, but I'm going to show you how simple it is to practice jamming by yourself. Uh, you can make all the mistakes you want. You can learn on the way. And you can do it inexpensively. I get questions all the time from my customers. What kind of amplifier do I get? And is the electric actually going to affect the sound of my instrument? Uh, I'll answer that real easy. The instruments are limitless. The features you can get, the cost of them, and not only that, um, how easy they are to use. And that's the thing I like to focus on. If you can't understand it, you're not going to use it. Um, as far as affecting the sound of the instrument, it's like an acoustic guitar. Uh, you don't use the amp, it hasn't hurt the sound. You still have an acoustic guitar. When you plug it into an amp, you can get into a PA system or anything else, and the features that you have available are limitless. Um, I like to keep tone as accurate as I can to a native dulcimer, but you can get fancy with it, and that's what I'll demonstrate today. I've got a couple different amplifiers that I like to promote simply because they are easy to use, easy to handle, and they have a lot of features or they can be very native as to a traditional dulcimer. You say, well, what do I need to get started? Well, the first thing you need is a dulcimer. And the electric makes it nice because you're not sitting underneath a microphone or have anything else plugged externally to the dulcimer. This is a Bellcat two-band electric has a standard quarter inch plug that fits any amplifier and I'm going to show you now just how to get started uh, using the electric and then how to do some jamming to some of your favorite tunes and favorite performers and there's my little helper Rudy as you can tell he's really excited Rudy doesn't do much jamming in fact when the jamming starts he usually heads for the other room but he still helps as much as possible just by being here. Okay, I'm back from the shop and while the glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do a little jamming. Only one available, since Rudy's not going to help, is me, myself, and I. I'm going to handle the dulcimer playing, leave the amplifier to me, and the computer will be all up to myself. So the three of us are going to really have a jam session here. And what I'm going to do, cut some of the humor aside, is show how if you're by yourself and you want to be able to practice jamming on a favorite song with a favorite group or just simply learning how to play with other tunes that are playing and you get some practice done in the privacy of your own home. Make mistakes, do whatever you want. It's pretty much... a uh, open forum and you really get to have a lot of fun at doing it and learn to handle the equipment. What I'm going to do now is go over some of the features that the amplifier can provide. 
uh, without actually getting in the way of what you're trying to accomplish, which is just simply play in a jamming session. The amplifier that I have has two channels. It has the native clean channel, which is channel one, and that allows you to add certain things like reverb. <laughs> But it doesn't blow you away with all of the wild sounds, so to speak. Um, you can add those and you can vary them. I think this amplifier, I can't get into all the detail now without the specs in front of me, but there's somewhere near 20 amps built into this and different settings that you can use. You can bring those on board by going channel 2. And changing the voice of it. And each channel has its own volume control. And that shows you some of the effects that are pretty obvious when you go through the different settings. You can play with that all day. But I'll put it back on the setting that I want that doesn't override the jam session, but it enhances it. Okay, you've seen the dulcimer, you've seen the amplifier. The third part to this equation is a computer or any other MP3 type of device that you can plug right straight into the auxiliary plug on the amplifier. The plugs are standard earplug ends, male and female. And what we're going to do is find something on YouTube that we like to watch and we're going to play along with them. The uh, best thing to do is save you some money. Conventions are great and they're fun but you can't afford one every time you want to practice. So we're going to find a group. The one I've found here right now is Athens Dulcimers, uh, one of the most popular on the internet. And so we're going to go ahead and follow them in a way that you probably aren't going to be able to hear me at first. I have it basically standard dulcimer format. And I'll add some things to it so you can notice me as we go through the song and then I'll clip in the second channel to get some effects and show you just how much fun and easy it is to strum along and jam along with groups and individuals using these simple three devices. Okay, we're going to make another pass through Athens Dulcimer Group on Bull M Cabbage Down. This time I've activated channel 2 from, for some effects and I'm going to play chords in the background. And like in any lesson you've got to have books. So the books I have are one of my favorites. 
Dave Haas's Fun Fiddle Tunes and whatever may fall out of it. I save a lot of tab sheets and my chord book and then of course if you want to follow songs and you don't have a tab sheet all you need is a chromatic meter. The one I have on the phone here works just fine. Make a pass through the song, make a record of the chords that you're playing and next time through you can play background. So let's get started with Pull Them Cabbage Down. I'm going to play chords in the background with some effects. Our first song will be Pull Them Cabbage Down. D, G, D, A. song you really love and just play along with it. Uh, it doesn't make any difference if you make a mistake or two. Just enjoy playing. My favorite, I love hymns, but my favorite is Amazing Grace.
is to show how you can play along without really ruining a beautiful song. Jamming with me, myself, and I goes to show just how much fun you can have with a simple setup, not a lot of money, really pays off. <laughs>